Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm showing you my new PJ trailer here. This is a seven by 14 dump trailer and I'm going to be building sides for it today. So before I did that, I figured I'd uh, just give you a little tour of it. This thing is the heaviest duty trailer that I have ever seen. <laughs> this is like a crazy, I don't know what that is, an eight inch I-beam is the whole frame. Um, it comes with a tarp kit that's welded on, which is pretty nice. It's a 20 foot long kit. This is a seven by 14 trailer. It's got a attachment for a spare tire. Uh, 14,000 pound rated. It is the low pro deck height, so it's really low off the ground. Super easy to get into. We got the main latch here. Pull the pin, slide that out. And you can open the door like that. And they actually have these cool little mechanisms there and that holds it so that you know it can't open when you're dumping it and then you just pull the pin and it releases it so then the other thing you can do is you push that down and it becomes a spreader gate i just wish there was like a mechanism that held it in place but you push that down it releases that and then you can spread a couple inches it came with a chain that you link from here to here that you can do that hey you want to lift that like a spreader gate like that then underneath there's ramps you just pull these pins out and this little door flaps down and there's the ramps they slide out and they hook onto these bars here so you can load equipment got LED lights it's got a nice big step on the front here Here's the tarp kit mechanism, which I find a little frustrating. This thing doesn't lock into place as you're trying to like spin it around, just kind of free floats. It has a 10,000 pound lift capacity jack, which is probably overkill, but I like that. <laughs> it's got a really nice loose cord for uh, the plug. And then the trailer tongue. This is interesting. It says that you don't need to have a safety pin. Um, so I don't know what that's about. It must have some sort of mechanism built in that it can't let go once there's a ball in it. And of course the brake cable uh, safety. So that thing gets pulled out if the trailer gets disconnected and locks the brakes. It's also got uh, safety chains that clip on back here. They're pretty nice. They got a big hook, which unlike my other trailers, this hook isn't big enough to actually fit and latch onto my truck. I just have to kind of have to like set it on the, on the edge of the hitch there. And then it's got on the bottom of this jack, there's actually this handle for the pull pin to release the bottom. And this is spring loaded. So I can't show you right now because it's not hooked up to the truck, but if it was hooked up to the truck and I pulled this pin, this whole thing just shoots up by itself. So as you can see here, it says pinch point because you'll lose a finger on that. And I already lost one of those. So inside toolbox here, it comes with a rope and chains. Those chains were for that back um, door spreader gate. The rope connects right here and then you can pull the tarp across easier. You got the hydraulic pump, the battery, then you can actually charge the battery right here, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't have to be hooked up to the truck to charge it. Um, and then there's a meter that shows how good it is. Actually, it looks like it needs to be charged. Uh, and then the last thing, here's the controller. Press up. Got a big old scissor lift. So that took exactly 40 seconds. And then it's got a safety bar too, so uh, you can see the little pocket in there. You can store it on an angle so the water drains out of it. The other thing that's really cool about this, to get it to be low profile, this is actually the bottom of the bed. And you can see it rests right on the frame here. And then the frame of the bed is kind of inset. So you get it down, whatever that is, like four inches farther than you would if it was on top. So the next thing I gotta do is build the sides. I've got the wood there. It's two by fours are going in here and then two two by tens tall. So it'll be a two by four and then the two by 10 is gonna sit on top of this rail. And on the front, the two by four goes here and then the two by 10 is gonna sit over the edge. And I'm gonna be using these two and a half inch structural screws to attach it. 
that'll hold it all together really well all right so i got it all done here we go this is what it looks like on the inside and the outside i had to steal a couple bolts because i didn't i didn't figure enough just so i could do these corners but uh you see here, I put a 15 degree angle on the top and bottom of the 2x4 and I had done that here, but the tarp was really hitting on it really harshly. So I cut that down to a 45, sanded everything down, and then I ran a 3 8 router on the both sides of this top board so that the tarp will slide a little bit easier on it. Anyway, I got the uh, rope tied on here and to set it up, we're just going to lift it on there. Hey, why don't you help me? Let's say I only got one hand. And then grab the tarp, or and then grab the rope. I mean, and just pull it. So the tarp, the pole has these little um, little flanges on the end, so they ride along the top of the wood. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so sorry. And then when you get to the end, pull it down like that. And actually it's got these little teeth on the back to latch it in. So if there's not a full load, it'll just kind of sit like that. But if there is a full load, you know, it'll sit up like that. And pull it back, just set it back on there. Oh yeah, look at that. That's perfect now. So before this was hitting on it really harshly, so cutting those on a 45 really worked. So the only other thing I'm going to do is add some hooks here so I don't have to pull that thing all the way down every time. So I got to get some hooks to throw on there. But for now, we'll travel with it like that. And then we just latch that guy. Pull the rope off. And we're good to go. All right, I quickly threw some black paint on the two by fours that were sticking down. They were kind of bugging me. So now it looks a lot cleaner. All right, so that's it. That's my trailer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Consider subscribing for more stuff I don't I do a plethora of stuff about uh, stuff <laughs> and leave me a comment let me know what you think about my trailer all right thanks for watching catch you on the next video bye if you like this video give it a blah, 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 blah.